Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is Enroll user in Teachable when course is purchased on Shopify. Now suppose guys you are an online educator and you have created some course in Teachable and you are using Shopify as a platform to sell that course. So you want whenever a customer purchases your course on your Shopify store, you want to enroll that very same customer into your Teachable course as well. Now the manual process of getting the details of the customer from Shopify and enrolling that very same person in Teachable is very much repetitive and time consuming. So to avoid this problem, in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever a customer purchases our course on our Shopify store, automatically the very same customer gets enrolled in our course in Teachable account as well. Interesting, right? Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for pabbly, pavli.com slash connect. After reaching on the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Shopify to Teachable. Shopify to Teachable and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we will connect our Shopify store with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL and after that, we will place a test order in our Shopify store. We'll make a test purchase on our Shopify store so that the details of a new purchase can be captured inside Pavli Connect. And then we will send the details of the new capture, the very same details, very same data to Teachable from Pavli Connect so that the customer who made the purchase, who purchased our course on our Shopify store will be automatically enrolled in Teachable course as well. So do, do so in trigger window here in choose app, we will search for Shopify. Shopify it is. And after that in trigger event, we will select new order because we want the details of a new order. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect pa Shopify and Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here then after that, we have to go to our, the dashboard of our Shopify store. And here on the left bottom side, we can see settings. So click on settings. Now after reaching to the settings page, scroll down and we have to go to the notifications panel. So this is notification, click on notifications. Then scroll down and we will find an option named as webhook over here. So let me scroll down. And yes, you can find the option named as webhook over here. So here you can see all the webhook URLs which we have created or added in our Shopify store can be seen over here. By cl clicking on create webhook, you can add a new webhook URL. So just click on create webhook. After clicking on create webhook, a dialog box open us, opens up which says, which asks us event. So in the drop down below event, we have to select order created. Order creation is the event. So if you have any doubt regarding making the connection or selecting the event, you can refer to the help text given below in the Pavli Connect over here. Order created is the event. You can see we have selected very same event. After that, it is asking us format. So we have to select JSON format and then it comes the field for URL. So in this field of URL, basically we have to paste the very same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. So we have copied the webhook URL from Pavli Connect. We'll go to Shopify and paste it over here. After that, it is asking us webhook API version. So just select the latest version guys and click on save. So now the step one of setting up this automation is almost complete. We have successfully connected our Shopify store with Pavli Connect. 
Now every time our Shopify store will receive a new order, we will receive a new order on our Shopify store. The details or the data of that very same order will be captured inside Pavli Connect. And here Pavli Connect is also showing us waiting for webhook response, which means Pavli Connect is waiting to get the details or the data of new order from Shopify store. So we have to place a test order now. So we will go back to the dashboard page and from here I'll just click on preview my store option. So and my Shopify store opens up over here. Go to catalog. Now we have to place an order. So uh, I have a course in my teachable account for which I have created a product in Shopify. Let me show you. So this is the course. This is the course PHP for beginners. So I want whenever a customer purchases this course, I want to enroll that very same customer into my teachable course. So just click on it. After that, click on buy it now. And now here we will place a dummy order. So I'll enter the details of a dummy customer. Okay, so as you can see, these are the details of a dummy customer named as Devin Parker. This is the email address, this is the address and this is the phone number. So let's just click on continue to payment. And uh, let me enter the details of a test card. So the card number is one. The name of the card is Bogus Gateway. Let's enter the expiry and security code. Click on pay now. So guys, just now we have received an order in our Shopify store by the details of or the name of the customer named as Parker Devin. And because we have connected Shopify with Pabli Connect, the details or the data of this very same order will also be captured inside Pabli Connect. So let's get back to Pabli Connect workflow. And yes, guys, we can see that below response received, we have received some response over here. And this is the response of that very same customer whose details just now we have entered while making the dummy payment dummy order. So the same email address parker devin289 at red gmail.com. The very same amount of the product which we have just now purchased. And when we will scroll down, we will find other details of this very same order like the card details and the details of the customer as well who actually placed the order like the first name last name and address so this is the first name of the customer devin this is the address phone number and last name as well so guys the step one of setting up this automation is successfully completed we have successfully received the details or the data of the orders which we are receiving on our shopify store but the thing is we must be selling some more products on our shopify account or Shopify store and we want we only want to enroll those customer who purchase specifically this course this course which we were selling in our Shopify store so to ensure that only the customer who are buying our PHP for beginners course on Shopify store should be automatically enrolled in our teachable course we have to add a filter over here so for that we'll just scroll down and come to this action window and here in choose app we'll search for filter so basically filter is a feature of Fabli Connect by which we can add conditions in our workflow. So using filter, we will add a condition that if the customer has purchased the course PHP for beginners in the order in, or in our Shopify store, then only we will be enrolling that customer into a teachable course. So after selecting filter in select label in the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Shopify. And in all these responses, we will scroll down and search for the item name response or the label for item name. Let me search. Okay, so this is the label line item title PHP for beginners. So just select this course in select label and the filter type will be equals to and the value will be the exact name of the course or of the product. So let me show you. So this is the name. This is a line item title, the product which the customer has bought. Just copy this, the name of the product and paste it over here. And after that, just click on save and send test request. And the response shows that the condition is true. So we have successfully added a filter in this workflow, in this automation, which will check for the product name, which customer has ordered. And if the product name is equals to this, the product course name, which we are selling or the course for which we want to enroll user or the customer into, into, into a teachable course, only the, if the condition is true, then that customer will be enrolled inside our teachable course. And if the product name is not equals to this name of the course, then that customer won't be enrolled in our teachable course. So after adding the filter, we will scroll down and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, we will search for teachable. 
And after that in action event, we will select enroll user in course. Click on connect, select add new connection. So here we have to connect our Teachable account with Public Connect now. So to make the connection, first we have to enter the email address and password of our Teachable account, the credentials of our Teachable account. And after that we also have to enter the subdomain. So I guess you must be having the credentials of your Teachable account, just enter those credentials over here. And to get the subdomain, just go to your Teachable account dashboard and in the URL section, you will find the subdomain after slash and before dot Teachable. So this is the subdomain of my Teachable account. So just copy this subdomain from here and paste it over here. And after entering the credentials, click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection. So I will click on select existing connection and click on save. After, after that guys, it is asking us for the course. Then in which course we want to enroll this student. So in the drop down below, you can see all the courses which we have created in our Teachable account can be seen over here. And I want to the customer who is purchasing this PHP for beginners course in Shopify to enroll this uh, enroll into this PHP for beginners course in Teachable. So I will select this course in which I want to enroll them. Then it is asking us for the email. So here we have to enter the email address of the customer who purchased the course. So just click here. And in the drop down below, you can see all the responses which we have received from Shopify. And you must be remembering that in these responses, we have also received the email address of the customer who placed the order. So in the uh, responses below, we just have to select the email address of the customer. After that, it is asking us for the name. So we will just follow the same process of mapping over here. We have just mapped the email address here. So just click on this field. And from the drop down below, we can see that uh, all the responses from Shopify, we just have to select the response for the first name first. So in these responses, we will scroll down and find the response for the first name of the customer. Okay, so this is the response for the first name, Devin. Just select this, give a space and from the do uh, drop down, just search for last name. That was Parker, I guess. Devin Parker, yes, this is the response for last name. So we have successfully mapped the name of the customer or name of the customer who placed the order and to whom we want to enroll in our teachable course. After that, it is asking us for password. So the field for password is not mandatory, is not required. So we will be ignoring this field for now. And after entering all these details, just click on save and send test request. So after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that this very same customer who purchased our product, our course on our Shopify store is now successfully enrolled to that very same course in our Teachable account. So let's just check to uh, in our Teachable account that this person is enrolled in our course or not. So let's go to the Teachable dashboard and from the left side, we'll go to courses section. Select the course. So PHP for beginners, this was the course. So just select it. After that, on the left side, go to student section. Let's search for the student. And yes, guys, you can see that just a few seconds ago, Parker, Devin, Devin Parker, the very same customer who has placed an order in our Shopify store, purchased our course on our Shopify store, is now automatically enrolled in our Teachable course as well. So guys, we can see that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. So after setting, creating this automation, we have to actually test this automation in real time. So we will go back to our Shopify store. Let's go back to the home page of our Shopify store. And we will purchase this course once again with some other details, uh, details of some other customer, other user. And we will see that either that customer is automatically enrolled into a teachable course or not. So just click on it. Click on buy it now. Enter the email address of the customer. So I'll enter the details of a new dummy customer. Okay, so I have entered the details of a dummy customer once again. This is the email address and this is the name Kulu Jen. And this is the address. Let's click on continue to payment. Let me enter the test card details and make the payment. Click on pay now. And yes, guys, 
we have another received another order on our shopify store and we will see that as and when we receive a new order or uh, someone buys our course on our shopify store automatically instantly that very same customer will be enrolled in our teachable course as well so let's get back to the teachable account and refresh this page let's search for that customer and yes guys we can see that kullu jan that very same customer whose detail just now we have entered in our shopify checkout page while purchasing the course that's very same customer is automatically instantly just now few seconds ago is enrolled in our teachable course as well so guys we saw that we have tested this automation in real time and this automation is working perfectly fine so let's just get back to pabli connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation so at first we created our pabli connect workflow and connected our shopify store with pabli connect using a webhook url then we placed a dummy order on our shopify store so that we can receive the response of new order inside pabli connect after that we want to ensure that if the customer is purchasing that particular course on shopify store then only we will be enrolling that customer in our teachable course so we have uh, ensured this condition by using filter by pabli and at last we have sent all of these data to teachable to enroll the customer who made purchase of the course in our shopify store inside our teachable course as well so guys not just these application you can connect plenty of other applications using pabli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this very same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check pavli connect pricing at this link so if this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pavli thank you have a nice day